Uh, this is the work. This is the work. Uh, this, this is why it's, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Hello, and welcome to the Pacific Channel, where you learn about the law of attraction, how to manifest anything you want, meditation, and more. In this video, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about how nowadays there is a community of young people who are growing up where the virtue of love is encouraged and where they know their thoughts and feelings have an effect on the world. The interesting thing is that for these young people, to them, miracles are normal. It's normal for them to witness blind people being able to see, people in wheelchairs being able to walk, and other miracles. Dr. Joe also talks about how the body wants to be the mind and how it will resist any effort you put forth to tame that stallion, as he sometimes says. Near the end of this video, he describes what you can do to change yourself into what you want to be. Without any further delay, let's listen to Dr. Joe. Is a unique community of kids uh, because number one, uh, they are growing up in a culture, uh, in a community where uh, a lot of the virtues of, of love are, are encouraged. Uh, they're given information and they know how to learn that information. They know how to do something with it. They're proving to themselves that their thoughts and their feelings do have an effect on the world. They're practicing it at an early age. You get it down now. The rest of your life is easy. Um, by the same means, they, they witness miracles uh, on the stage. To them, it's normal to see uh, blind people see, uh, to see people with neurodegenerative diseases that uh, uh, it says there's no cure for uh, to uh, walk out of an event uh, standing up when they came in a wheelchair. It's, they're around these kind of uh, unconventional things that they've witnessed. And, and now that they see it, they know it's possible. And if you know it's possible, then you're conscious of another possibility. And that changes the belief that you have. If you've seen it uh, and you've seen the evidence and they grew up with the science and understanding it, they are different. Um, unfortunately than the rest of the world just like uh, adults in this work find out they're different uh, than the rest of the world after a period of time and and you take a thousand people or two thousand people or three thousand people or seven thousand people and, and they all have this you get them doing the same things thinking the same way making the same choices having uh, the same experiences and, and feeling the same emotions uh, then they relate to one another because that's what we do we relate based on experience and because we've experienced it we we know what it feels like and we can commune we can connect well uh, our youth community is witnessing some really profound things both in the testimonies that i've seen as well as the research that's being presented to them they they, they understand that it, it this is actually possible and they're proving to themselves in their own journey uh, that it is and and i have taken a lot of time with the youth to teach them about the neuroscience of culture and how to change cultures. Why? Because it's you that is going to be changing the culture, and 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 you have to step into some some big footprints here and and somehow help change the world in some way. And I can tell you that uh, I meet a lot of people, and everybody is wanting the same thing. Some everybody is wanting something better and having meaning to life. Uh, one of the things that the coherence group. Uh, is doing is there we're working on certifying and authorizing a youth community of healers now you share the same experiences in healing other people by giving uh, it goes so counter to taking and fighting and competing and it's that act of giving a uh, life to another's life that somehow uh, people uh, love that feeling and I want the youth community to get really good at doing this really good at I'm, I'm really pressing them pretty hard uh, that they have to, they have to, um, uh, they have to execute uh, and perform, and they have to produce outcomes. Uh, that's that's how they can prove to themselves that they're connected, that 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 divine intelligence lives within them. Uh, that that they could they could say, okay, I saw enough healings, I've seen enough other people be healed. I now I should be able to do it because other people uh, can do it. And and I meet with them and do. We talk about social issues we talk about abundance we talk about well uh, health and wellness uh, we talk about the environment we talk about education these are important issues uh, that really need some attention and we're looking at how we can make a difference 
And so it's not uncommon uh, when you do this work that you outgrow things. Uh, you just outgrow them because uh, it's boring or it's, there's nothing new. Uh, or uh, you're no longer interested in needing anything outside of you uh, to, to make you feel good. You actually feel good without anything. Uh, you're not going to find uh, a lot of people uh, in the world yet accepting that notion, although it's changing uh, right before our very eyes. And so um, I would encourage you uh, to join the youth community. I would encourage you uh, to continue to learn, to continue to study. I, I was a weird uh, kid uh, in my 20s, a very different uh, kid. Uh, I was into quantum physics. I was into uh, yoga. I was into the yogic masters. I was into breathing. I was into all these things. And, and uh, when I should be out partying with all my friends, uh, I just didn't really, I just didn't really find any value in that. Uh, that wasn't w what I wanted to do. I wanted something else. And so I found myself uh, at, at many times about being happy with just being by myself and learning and, and finding my way. And I, th I guarantee you, if you keep doing this work, um, you'll start creating uh, people uh, that are, uh, 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 that attracted, you attract and uh, they attract to you. And, and it's, the, it's a different frequency. And, and, and so my suggestion is that you continue being yourself. Uh, you continue listening to that compass in you that, that's, that, that is uh, telling you that um, uh, this isn't for you. And, and be uncompromising to that. And, and reach out to the youth community. Join the youth community. Uh, if you can, come to a week long and be part of uh, the youth community. They meet every night. Uh, 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 we have a, an advanced follow-up going on here in Florida right now. And there's a lot of uh, youth that are here. Uh, and they could be anywhere and um, they meet every evening and if I can I drop in with them and talk to them and and they do the work with all the adults uh, we have uh, young people you know seven eight nine ten years old as well going through every uh, meditation going through every session and really really making some really profound changes so so if you can um, be, be somewhat active and and make a different choice and and jump into the youth community introduce yourself if you can come to an event um, be a voice out there and find people that you can relate to uh, and there and there are uh, uh, people from Colombia uh, young people from Colombia that I know um, that are in this work and so uh, make an effort um, to 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 ask the question, there's got to be something else. There's got to be something else besides this and start looking for it right, right in our community. The disturbance of energy, you know, when you, when you uh, actively engage in doing the breath with the intention of taking all those emotions that are literally um, stored as energy in those first three centers, primarily the first center too, because that's where all that potential energy exists. At kundalini energy um, you are shaking loose um, a lot of the conditioning that goes on in the body now um, the body uh, has been conditioned really to be the mind and, and so I mean that in in all sincerity that uh, the body's been programmed to certain behaviors certain habits certain emotional reactions certain beliefs uh, 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 it's conditioned and programmed and so when you do the breath and you start shaking loose some of that energy and you start liberating that energy, um, the body really does every single thing it can uh, to re return back to the same emotional state. So, you know, you do the work and all of a sudden your body goes, oh, well, um, that was weird. Let's get back to the same emotional state. Let's get back to the same program because it's the mind and it wants the known. It craves the familiar. That's what it's doing. It's looking for safety, right? So um, it, 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 the conscious mind is, is working against 95% of a, of a program. And God knows when we do this, the battle begins. It looks like a David versus Goliath because uh, it's an assault of memories, uh, an assault of emotions. A, the body's every, doing everything it can to unseat us so we can return back and it's influencing the mind. Many people say, oh, I'm doing the breath wrong. I'm doing my meditation wrong. I'm doing this work wrong. It's not working for me. I want you to know that you're doing it right. I want you to know that, that the, your, your disturbance of that energy is really starting to um, 
denature those programs and the body's working harder to get back to the known state and you're, you're stretching it uh, into the unknown. In a sense, you're making a different choice and uh, doing a different thing. Uh, you're working on having a new experience and you're working on, on changing your emotional state and the body is resisting. Uh, I see it every single time. Um, uh, I watch students uh, in this work uh, do the, the come to a week long event. There's a resistance in the body and, and sometimes it's while you're doing it saying you're not doing it right. Um, uh, what am I doing wrong? This doesn't work. I'm, I'm going to have a stroke. You know, all of that stuff uh, people have uh, that comes up. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it my own way. You know, all of that. Um, that's because the body's the body's resisting. It's not the mind. The mind made the conscious choice to do it. It's just now the body, you have to work with it. So you're training, retraining the body. You're reconditioning the body to a new mind. If you stick with it, um, that energy really starts to move very well uh, uh, out of those centers and right to your heart and ultimately into your brain. Um, you come to the week-long event as in Dallas we're gonna break it down and you're gonna practice over and over again until it gets easy for you until you have the experience of that energy making its way uh, to your brain so it, as you begin to disturb that energy you begin to change your energy and uh, when you change your energy everything uh, that is familiar in your life everything that's known in your life starts to move into chaos too because uh, chaos is, is unpredictable order. It's novelty. It's new information. And again, uh, things tend to, to, to spiral a little bit uh, out of order. That's, that's a, it happens to everybody that, that, that does this work. You got to, you got to understand that and you got to keep working on not responding to those programs. So it's not the breath that's doing it. It's just that your body, um, doesn't want to take a chance in the unknown take a chance in possibility it's it, it's not conditioned to do that so uh, clinging to the familiar and then and influencing the way we think and the way we act and the way we feel uh, is its job to bring us back to the same personality so um, the work is about um, going through that process you you you're, you're not doing anything wrong uh, in doing the breath it's just that you're changing your energy and in the body is doing everything it can to return. So it would make sense then. And I've done this numerous times. Uh, I get right back to the basics, uh, right down the thoughts that, that keep coming up. Why? Because that thought is going to uh, uh, influence a certain choice to a certain behavior and recreate the same experience to feel the same emotion. It's automatic, right? So it takes a lot of energy and awareness to stop that. But if I write them down, the thoughts and memories that I don't want to revisit, I just keep them in my conscious mind. I can catch them before they happen. That's a victory. All right, so I'm moving energy in every day in my body. My body's wanting to return back to the familiar. How am I not going to speak? Let me just stay conscious of what I did yesterday. How did I act and behave? How did I go unconscious and back into those old habits? Let me just write them down and review them. Uh, and before I open my eyes, I'm just going to remind myself who I no longer want to be. I just want to review those. Now, now, now it's no longer about doing the breath. It's about change. It's about true change. Okay, what emotions do I live by every day? Do I live in frustration? Do I live in fear? Do I live in anxiety? Do I worry? Do I over -focus? You know, what, what is it? What is it? Am I frustrated? What is it that I live by emotion? Let me just pick those emotions that I was in yesterday. And let me just, just write them down so I can just stay conscious of them. Then I'm going to look at them again before I eat lunch. I'm going to look at them again, review them again. How am I doing? Look at them again in the evening before dinner. And let me look at the end, at the end of the day. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. But you, you, you got to remind yourself of who you no longer want to be and you got to become so conscious of those unconscious programs that you don't go unconscious again you got to keep remembering and stop forgetting and if you forget you went unconscious so how many times do we have to forget until we stop forgetting and start remembering that's the moment of change so all of this is instrumental uh, in the process of you crossing the river because there is a, a death that's taking place in our biology when we begin to do when we step out into the unknown and that discomfort that uncertainty, um, that unpredictability, uh, is is that unknown is is really causing the body really to 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 do everything it can to be back to its same place, its same personality. Uh, this is the work. 
This is the work. Uh, this this is why it's. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. You're you're moving energy, and that's the side effect of it. If you understand that now, it's not that you're doing the breath right or wrong. It's just now that uh, uh, you know you got to begin to you got to begin to stop the default. And in people that have healed in this work, Milas,、uh, I've listened to so many of their stories. <laughs>、uh, they had to get really good. Uh, 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 at staying、uh, out of that personality with their eyes open their whole entire day, not responding to people and circumstances and the same emotions, not thinking the same thoughts or that are you know, and thinking new thoughts and and feeling new emotions and and practicing behaving a different way, and that's what the walking meditations are about: practicing with your eyes open and and trying it out, you know, uh, uh, demonstrating it.、Uh, that's the, the, we're in the plane of doing, right? So. So the body has been programmed to have certain habits and beliefs, and it's our job to liberate that energy. But the body will do all it can to return to the old program. It will tell you things like "You're not doing it right. This doesn't work. It's never going to work," and things like that, because the body doesn't want to change the old programming. It's resistant. The body clings to what is familiar. So the work is about going through this process of. Reconditioning the body to a new mind. The work is for you to take control over your body and not allow it to control you. In the end, Dr. Joe gives us instructions to write down how you feel during this process of changing who you are. His advice is to ask yourself if you are frustrated, or worried, or stressed, and then remind yourself of who you don't want to be and who you do want to be. The goal is to get good at staying out of your old personality, where you are thinking old thoughts, and instead think, feel, and behave in the new way that you want to be. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And if you feel so inclined, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and have a good day or night.